Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you student management system project. In this project, I have used Apache NetBeans IDE and MySQL Workbench for data storage. We have two packages and one folder. Inside the DB package, here you can see my connection to Java class and inside the icon folder you can see two icons and student package you can see we have six packages and I have also added two jar files jcalendar and mysql connector java and mysql connector.java I made the connection to the mysql workbench database without wasting time let's run the project first and I will explain step by step how the project works and don't worry I will try to make videos about this project okay right admin need to provide login first after that admin will access the system now I am going to login first first I have to provide username After that, I have to provide password. If I provide wrong password and click on the login button, here you can see display a message invalid username or password. Because if I provide wrong credentials, you cannot access this system. Now I provide right password and click on the login button. Here you can see display a message login success if I click OK and it's redirect me here. This is the main interface of student management system. Here admin can add new student by providing all the student information. Admin needs to provide every field below, otherwise, admin won't add student now I'm going to add a new student first I'm going to provide student name and student date of birth if I provide future date of birth and gender and email if I provide email something like that and phone number father name and mother name and address line one address line two Now I'm going to add student image now I click on the add new button here you can see this display message no student from the future are allowed now I provide valid date of birth and add new here you can see invalid email address now I provide valid email address and add new here you can see new student added successfully now I am going to add another student student name so after that student date of birth email now I am going to provide an email address which is already exist and phone number also now 
I am also provide a phone number which is already exist 5252 here this phone number and father name and address line something like that image And click on the add new button this email address already exists now i provide valid email address and click on the add new button and you can see this phone number already exists now i provide unique email unique phone number and click add new button you can see new student added successfully here you can see new student Added successfully. Now I am going to update student information. If I click on the row here, you can see display all the information. Unfortunately, if I click add new button, here you can see this email address already exists. Now I am going to update email address, and here you can see I am going to update email address and I provide email address which is already exist and click on the update button here you can see this email address already exist and also phone number and click on the add update button here you can see this phone number already exist and now up I need to update address line and add update here you can see student that updated successfully here you can see student address line 2 is updated now I am going to update image click on the update button here you can see student data updated success here you can see student image updated now I'm going to delete a student if I click on the delete button here you can see display a message course and score records will also be deleted if I click ok student deleted successfully here you can see delete successfully here admin can search student now I provide the student ID and click on the search button here you can see student ID 11 display on the table if I click on the refresh button then display all the students If the admin wants to print all the student then click on the print button now I'm going to print all the student and click on the print button here you can see you can choose any option now I'm going to Microsoft print to PDF and print I'm going to a desktop and students here 
here you can see student information pdf file course if the admin wants to add courses first admin needs to select student then the admin can add courses now i will search a student by passing student id 14 here you can see student id 14 and and then now here you can see first semester is available now now i am going to choose course 1 after that course 2 after that course 3 course 4 and course 5 and click on the save button and you can see course added successfully and you can see course added successfully student id 14 now i am going to search again student 14 and search here you can see now two semester are available if i select first semester and choose courses and click on the save button here we can see this a message the student has already taken semester one now i chose semester two and now i am going to select course one c plus plus programming and this course already taken this student and and if, if i click on the c button here you can see the student has already taken c plus plus course course if the student takes any course previous semester then the student cannot able to take same course current semester now click on the save button here you can see course added successfully now i will take all the semester courses one by one Here you can see display a message this student has completed all the courses a student can take a total of eight semesters and not more than eight semesters and id 14 student already take eight semesters okay and here you can see one to eight all the semester id 14 student already taken here you can also search student by passing student id search button here you can see student id 12 and if you click if i click on the refresh button then this is all the student data score if the admin wants to add score first admin need to select a student and also admin must give the semester number now i will give a student id 14 and semester number 1 and click on the search button here you can see display all the courses information if i provide invalid semester and click on the search button here you can see student id or semester number does not exist if i provide invalid user id and click on the save button here you can see student id or semester number does not exist if i click clear button clear all the field now i provide student id 14 and semester one and search now i am going to add course one score and if i provide string below and they are four three point seven five course four three point 
five six and force two over force five two point and eight eight. Now if I click on the save button, here you can see display a message number format exception. Okay, and if I provide uh, five and click on the save button, here you can see display message please enter a valid below it must be between zero to four. Now I provide valid score and zero and click on the save button here you can see score added successfully now i'm going to provide second semester score and 3.4 3.55 and uh, 2.98 and 4. Point and click on the save button score added successfully here you can see here you can see course one and score and also average this semester score now i'm going to add third semester score and now I, if i want to update student score then click on the row here you can see display all the course and score here now i provide course one score 3.75 and click on the update button course updated successfully here you can see score one updated and now i'm going to search student id 14 and click on the search button here you can see all the student 14 courses and score data but refresh and display all the student mark sheet if the admin wants to print student mark sheet admin needs to provide student id now i am going to provide student id 14 and search here you can see display all the courses and scores record in the table here you can see all the semester average cgpa and now i'm going to print mark sheet now i'm going and click on the print button print mark sheet save here you can see student mark sheet student id 14 and cgpa 3.53 that's all about the student management system project i hope you understand all the functionalities i will see you in the next video and thanks for watching